All right, so it is down to these five key crucial battleground states. The two candidates are leading and trailing by a few decimal points. That is what it has now come down to. The decision to take the matter to the courts has not turned out to be in favor of the Trump campaign. He's lost court rulings in two of these closely contested states. In Georgia, the Trump campaign has alleged that about 53 of the late arriving ballots were mixed with on-time ballots. A judge in Georgia has said that there is no evidence that ballots in question were invalid. Meanwhile, in Michigan, the Trump campaign has sought to stop the vote count and has demanded for greater access for the tabulation process. Now, in this case, in this case, the court has said, and I quote, no basis to find substantial likelihood of success on the merits. The Trump campaign has vowed to bring a new lawsuit challenging what they call as voting irregularities in Nevada. Now, Trump's aides have time and again fallen short of providing evidence to support their allegations. Essentially, the crux of their argument has been that, look, there is no way that you can have every single vote or most of the votes that have been cast by mail-in ballots going the Biden way. And this is why the Trump team now alleges that there has to be the possibility of a voter fraud. Otherwise, there is no other evidence that has been given by the Trump team. Election officials who are working on the ground say that there is no evidence of any kind of improper ballots being processed. However, in Pennsylvania, the Trump campaign has demanded better access for observers to locations where ballots were being processed and counted. An appeals court has ordered that officials should be allowed to very closely observe ballots that are being processed in Philadelphia. The Democrats in Pennsylvania have approached the Supreme Court on the matter. They say that they do not oppose Trump campaigns but to intervene, but it was premature for the courts to in fact act on the motion. Now remember, Georgia, Nevada and Pennsylvania are three of the five battleground states where the vote counting is still on. In Pennsylvania and Georgia, Donald Trump is leading. In Georgia, his lead is down to just about 1,700 votes. Can he hang on to that? This is a razor-thin margin that Donald Trump is now walking on, and it's quite possible that Joe Biden could pep him here. These three states will, of course, play a very crucial role in determining as to who will win the presidency. On the other hand, Joe Biden has already won Michigan by 3% of the votes. Now, election legal experts say that Trump's legal strategy is unlikely to have any kind of an outcome, even if it were to be challenged in a court of law.